Okay. So we start off this part of this chapter can get quite confusing. There's essentially three more formulas we're going to learn how to use. And as I said before, the formulas will be given to you on the exam. This, however, oops. this part, however, will not. But the variables pretty much are, are the same thing for everything. It's usually pretty simple to figure out what they are. So first, we're going to look at what's called an annuity formula. And this is putting money into an annuity. Then we'll look at the payout annuity formula, which is getting your money back out of an annuity. And then we'll look at a loan formula, which is for car loans or mortgages. So let's start with paying into our annuity. Formula is P sub N equals D times one plus R over K to the N K minus one over R divided by K. Pretty nasty looking, isn't it? <laughs> in this P sub N is the balance in the account after N years. So it's what we're aiming for. D is your regular deposit, the amount you deposit each year or each month, typically monthly. R is your annual interest rate, as it has always been, and in decimal form. K is the number of compounding periods in a year. And N, which is not listed again, is the number of years. Then there's a note <laughs> about K in here. If the compounding frequency is not explicitly stated, Assume there are the same number of compounds in a year as there are deposits made in a year. So if we're making monthly deposits, there's 12 compounding periods. So let's look at this and see how it works. First thing I want to do is rewrite this so I can scroll down. All right. So a traditional individual retirement account is a special type of retirement account in which the money you invest is exempt from income taxes until you withdraw it. If you deposit $100 each month into an IRA earning 6% interest, how much will you have in the account after 20 years? So let's run down these variables and see what we can clear up. I have P sub N, I have D, I have R, I have K, and I have N. Well, we're looking for P sub N. So what is my D? What is my monthly deposit? $100. What is my interest rate? Or 0 0.06. How many compounding periods? First lady, are you know? Yep. And how many years? So we have all the numbers. Now we just need to do all the math. P sub n equal. D times one plus, oh, wait a minute, I know what D is, don't I? 100 times one plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 to the N, which is 20, times K, which is 12, minus one over 0 0.06 divided by 12. Uh, this just comes down here. I have one plus 0 0.005. And I can go ahead and multiply 20 by 12. Get 240. And here also I have 
zero point zero zero five. Everybody okay with that step? Now I'm just going to add what's in the parentheses. 100 times 1.005 to the 240th power minus 1 all over 0 0.005. So I have 1.005 to the 240th power. I need to get me a different calculator. And I like, oh, that's not right. I like to keep about four decimal places while I'm doing calculations, at least. So now I have. 100 times 3.3102 minus 1 over 0 0.005 gives me 100 times 2.3102 over 0 0.005 which gives me 231.02 over 0 0.005, which gives me not enough. 231.02, how about 0 0.005? We have $46,204. I think we're going to have to work a little longer. Well, they say you need a million dollars to retire. Any questions on that process? Just working through all those steps. If you can do it, you can do more than one step at a time. Yes. From what? Yeah, that's 240. 20 times 12. Is this here where it looks like a five? Two, four, here. Sorry. Any other questions on them? So now you know how to find out how much you can have when you retire. Most of you are young. Time to start is now. Right? Didn't you start about five, ten years ago, like me? I'm being nice. You told me how old your son is, so I know. Closer to 50 than I am to 20, so you do the math. You told me how old your son was. I did math for a minute. A lot easier. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we have, you want to have 200,000 in your account when you retire in 30 years. And your retirement account earns 8% interest. I hate when they use these numbers. How much do you need to deposit each month to meet your retirement goal? So now I know that I'm going I want to have 200,000 at the end. So I know what P sub N is. I want to know how much I need to deposit each month. And my interest rate is 8%. And K, again, monthly, so 12. And N is 30 years. So running from this formula here, I have 200,000 equals D times one, and I don't like this number. 0 0.08 divided by 12 to the N, 30 times K, 12, 
minus one all over 0 0.08 divided by 12. Because 0 0.08 divided by 12 is 0 0.0067. The four decimal places. So that's what we'll use for it. So I have 200,000 equals D times 1 plus 0 0.0067 to the 360th power minus 1 over 0 0.0067. Now, my guess is nobody likes dealing with fractions. So we can get rid of the fraction simply by mo multiplying both sides of this equation by 0 0.0067. Because on this side, that cancels out. And over here, 200,000 times 0 0.0067 gives me... 1,340. And that is equal to D times 1.0067 to the 360th power minus 1. 1.0067 to the 360th power. That gives me 11.0669. So now I have 1,340 equals D times 11.0669 minus 1. 1,340 equals D times 10.0669. Divide by that 10.0669. And I get $133.11. That's my monthly deposit. At 8% for 30 years. Still not all that great. And that's with 8% interest. Somehow I doubt you're going to get that rate today. Any questions on that? So theoretically, we can solve for any variable. Typically, it's either P sub N or D. Everybody have that page? I'm sorry? That's an okay that AARP member has it. Now I really know how old you are. Well, not really, because that lets you sign up real early. Dollars. Okay, so now that we learned how to pay it in, <laughs> We're going to learn how to get it out. Be one of them little games. Can you find the differences? I'm sorry? 
So it's one minus instead of minus one. There's one other one other difference. Here's the factoring factors. Negative exponent. That's the only difference. That's what that's what you'll use to determine. Am I putting money in? Then I have a positive exponent. Am I taking money out? Then I have a negative exponent. Until the next formula, then we'll just confuse you even more. Gee, thanks. I didn't come up with this stuff. <laughs> now let's write this out. <laughs> Negative NK. Let's say we all just stick to regular simple interest. I've seen easier that way. I'm not shutting down. Yeah, it'll get confusing in that chapter too. Because <laughs> there's another K. Well, there's only so many letters in the alphabet. <laughs> So our variables, P sub zero, D, R, K, and N. After retiring, you want to be able to take out $1,000 every month for a total of 20 years from your retirement account. The account earns 6% interest. How much will you need to account? How much will you need in your account when you retire? So we are looking for P sub zero. Don't worry, page 12 is a is a double. There's only 11 pages. What is D? $1,000. What is R? 6% or 0 0.06. What is K? So K is 12. And what is N? Okay. So we're solving for P sub zero. Easy peasy, right? 1,000, one minus. 1 plus R 0 0.06 over 12 to the negative N, which is 20, times K, which is 12, all over 0 0.06 divided by 12. 1,000, 1 minus, and this is what, 1.005 again to the negative 240 all over 0 0.005. Everybody still with me? So I have 1.0052Z, and there should be a button with a minus sign in parentheses. That is your negative sign. Clear. We have one point zero zero five two z negative two hundred fortieth power gives me zero point three zero two one. So I have one thousand times one minus zero point three zero two one over zero point zero zero five. 1,000 times 0 0.6979 over 0 0.005, 697.9 over 0 0.005, and we end up with $139,580. Six hundred ninety-seven.
Any other questions on that? I'm sorry. Six ninety-seven point nine. My handwriting that bad? I thought it was getting better. Should have seen it when I first started doing that. Because the pen just slides. <laughs> Any other questions on that one? Oh, look at all them extra pages. Good thing they're just repeats. Shall we do another one? Annuity payout formula again. You know you will have 500,000 in your account when you retire. You want to be able to take monthly withdrawals from the account for a total of 30 years. There's 8%. I don't want to deal with 8%. I'm going six. <laughs> How much will you be able to withdraw each month? So I'm looking for D. K was 12. N was 30. R was 0 0.06. So now I have 500,000 equals D times 1 minus 1 plus R over K to the negative N K over R over K. So 500,000. E times one minus, this is 1.005 to the negative 360th power, all over 0 0.005. And again, I can multiply both sides to get rid of them dang fractions. So, Five hundred thousand times point zero zero five gives me two thousand five hundred. This side it crosses out one point zero zero five to the negative. Do it again. How do I keep doing that? There, negative 360. And I get 0 0.1660. Now this is D times 1 minus 0 0.1660. 2,500 equals D times 0 0.8340. Divide both sides. This person is going to be doing quite well. 2,997 dollars and 60 cents per month. The trick is getting that 500 grand to start with. <laughs> Any questions on payouts? Like description at the beginning of what all the things mean. I thought that the PO was the account balance at the beginning. Yes. And that's the one, but that's the account balance when you retire. So that's yeah, account. that's the beginning of you being paid out. Oh, okay. See, okay. now we're talking about giving me my money back. Okay. Did you still need me to go no, scroll up? No, no. PN is after in years. 
PO is at the beginning of the payout process. Okay. Okay, any other questions on that one? So, as if it's not confusing enough. Does this formula look familiar? Yes. Right. So the annuity payout formula and your loan formula is the same. Because essentially the annuity payout, instead of you paying money to the bank for a loan, the bank is paying you the money that you gave it. Instead of you paying the bank money that you do with a loan because you borrowed the money, the bank's holding your money and it's dishing it out to you a little at a time for the payout. So it's the same as that formula. So let's do one of these and I think I'm going to call it a day. So again, we have P sub zero, D, R, K, and N. You can afford $200 per month as a car payment. So D is 200. If you can get an auto loan at 3%, so R is 0 0.03. For 60 months, which is five years in, we're talking months, so K is 12. How expensive of a car can you afford? In other words, what amount loan can you pay off at 200 per month? So looking at our formula, we have P sub zero equals one minus one plus R over K to the negative NK over R over K. So I don't know P sub zero. One minus one plus 0 0.03 over 12 to the negative five times 12 all over 0 0.03 divided by 12. Now let's see, I have one minus one plus 0 0.0025 to the negative 60th power over 0 0.0025. I have one minus 1.0025 to the negative 60th over 0 0.0025. 0 1.0025 to the negative 60th. And I get 0 0.8609. I have 1 minus 0 0.8609 over 0 0.0025. 1 minus 0 0.8609. That gives me... 0 0.1391 divided by 0 0.0025. That ain't right. Ah. I forgot D, didn't I? which would be 200, thank you. Where did this come from? So 200 times 0.1391,
is this 2782 over 0 0.0025, which gives us $11,128. And if you couldn't even get a decent used car at that rate for that price nowadays, I think we'll call it a day at that. So if things are looking good or bad, depending on how you look at them. It looks like we're going to finish these two chapters in two weeks instead of three weeks. So we'll have to figure out where we're going to go from there. We'll see how long the next chapter takes first. Because then we got Thanksgiving coming up as well. So we're almost done. So any questions on what we covered today? Yes. You signed the roll sheet and you have no questions, you can head out. Any questions online? There you go. Um, what is that? Is that one three nine? One three nine one, yes. Yeah. Like last day of class, define last day of class, the final exam. All right, have a good night. Well, let's see, we can find that. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh. oh, yeah.